Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.9 from the chapter number 4. The problem is an ABCD to 7 segment decoder is a combinational circuit that converts a decimal digit in BCD to an appropriate code for selection of segments in an indicator used to display the decimal digits in a familiar form okay that means a seven segment decoder or abcd to seven segment decoder here abcd is nothing but a four bit bcd okay four bit binary number okay and for that we have to find out the respective seven segments which one will be on or which one will be off okay then in the next line we are given that the seven outputs of the decoder are A, B, C, D, E, and F. And they select the corresponding segments in the display as shown in figure P4.9. A. Okay, this is the figure. Here we can see that we have seven segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Starting from A to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the seven segments. Small a to small z. Okay, so we have to on and off these segments so that we can represent the decimal numbers that is for starting from 0, 1 and so on up to 9. So here in this case, we have A, B, C, D, E and F are on and Z is off. Okay, similarly for representing this one, these two segments will be on. Similarly for two, this one is A, B, c then this one is d and e and z okay so these segments will be on and others will be off while making the truth table we have to make these segments on that means it will have a value of one and the other segment suppose for the case of zero the z will be z value will be small z value will be zero then in the question it is given that the numeric display chosen to represent the decimal digits in figure 4.9b we have already seen okay using a truth table and Karnoff maps design a bcd to seven segment decoder okay using minimum number of gates here we have to first of all we have to make the truth table okay then use the Karnoff maps to find out the boolean expressions for each of this segment then we have to design the bcd then third part is the bcd to seven segment decoder that means we have to draw the logic circuit of this equation using these equations here we can understand that all we have already used the kind of maps that is why we will have the most simplified expressions for the small a small b small c small d small e and small f z okay we will have the simplified form only so that will use the minimum number of gates okay so after finding out the boolean expressions using kind of maps we have to design design means we have to draw the logic circuit for this bcd to seven segment decoder then the last condition most important condition is given that suppose we are using four digits a b c and d so what we'll have we'll have 16 number of combinations starting from 0 to 15 okay that is mean terms uh, mean terms starting from m0 to m15 uh, it will be there in the kind of map for four variable okay so in the last line we are given that the six invalid combinations this invalid combinations mean 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay these six combinations okay that will be that should be result in a blank display that will be result in a blank display means all the all these segments will be off for 10 to 15 okay so for 10 to 15 values in the kind of map we have we can directly put zero values okay so this is the truth table here we have four inputs okay four inputs this is the bcd representation of the decimal numbers that is first will be representing zero 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 second will be one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay these are the binary or the decimal for the decimal digits okay this is the these are the bcd for the decimal digits these are the seven segments a b c d e f and z so these seven segments will be on and off depending on the input so we have already seen that for the case of zero a b c d e and f are one and z is off that means it is zero so here we have to put one 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 and zero that means z value will be zero other values will be one similarly for displaying one b small b and small c will be one okay and other will be zero so a will be zero 
B is 1, C is 1 and other will be 0. Okay. And similarly for the third case, that means number 2, this is the 2. So here we can see that A, B, D, E and Z will be 1. Okay. A, B, D, E and Z. These are 1s and other two are remaining two are zero and similarly for the all the other values okay so i have made this table now we have to make the kind of maps okay so kind of map for a we have to put the values of a in this map okay so let us put these values one zero one 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 zero one one then we have zero one 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 zero one 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 Okay, then we have 1, 1, 1, 1. We have already given in the question that the remaining, the invalid, that means after this 9 value, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, this will be off, off or 0. Okay, so it will have 0 values. So here we can put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the KMF for A. So first combination, suppose this one is the 1 combination. So this will be the second combination, so this will be the third combination and suppose this is the fourth combination or you can combine like this also this way, you can combine also, okay I have combined like this, okay so the expression for A let us write down, suppose for this combination what will be the expression, so we will have A bar and from this side we will have C, A bar C plus suppose from this term you will get A bar B a bar b and from this two row we will get d a bar b d plus from this combination suppose this combination will get a b bar a b bar okay and from this two column we will get it is c bar a bar b bar c bar okay so then the last term will be plus so this term okay so we will get here b bar and c bar d bar c bar d bar okay so this is the expression for a so while making the circuit we have to use this boolean expression for a now we have to find out the expression for b so b have 1111 then we have 1 1 so we will put here 1 1 so this all will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, because in the question it is given that the display will be off for these values. That means all the values will be 0. Now we have to find out the possible combinations. So this will be one combination. Okay, so this will be the second, this will be the third, and this will be the fourth combination. So B we can write it as, so from this term what we will get? A bar, B bar. Plus, from this term what we will get it is a bar b bar a bar c bar d bar plus from this term we will get a bar c d a bar c d from this term what we will get we will get a b bar plus a b bar and from these two column we will get c bar c bar now let us find out the expression for c small c so we have to again look at the truth table. So for small c we have 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 then all are 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay so this will be one combination this will be the second combination so this will be third combination and a fourth combination will be suppose this one or we can combine like this also no problem okay so c is equal to suppose from this term what we will get we will get a bar b a bar b plus from this term we will get a bar d plus from this term what we will get a b bar then from this side we will get c bar plus from this term okay we'll get b bar b bar and c bar d bar c bar d bar okay so this is the expression for the segment small c now let us go for the expression for small d so here we'll put the values of d so for d we have one zero one one zero one one zero one zero one one 
zero one one zero then we have one 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 so others will be zero okay so we have to now take the combinations so one combination will be this one second will be this one okay then this one cannot be combined with anyone so we can we have to consider it alone okay then this will be another term and this is another term now let us write down the boolean expression for this suppose for this term this term what will get a bar b bar and c plus for this term what will get a bar and c d bar c d bar plus from this term what will get a b bar and c bar plus for this term what will get this b bar and c bar d bar c bar d bar plus from this term what will get a bar b c bar d a bar b c bar d sorry i have written a mistake here b bar c bar d bar for this term we have seen that this is b bar from this side this two row and c bar d bar we have obtained the boolean expression for small d then we have to find out the boolean expression for small e okay now let us see the table 1010 0010 1010 1010 then we have 001010 now we have to take the possible combinations one combination will be this one and another combination will be this one because we do not have any other ones Okay, so for this term, what we'll get? We'll get a bar c d bar plus from this term we'll get b bar c bar d bar. We have obtained the Boolean expression for small e. Then we have to find out the Boolean expression for small f. Okay, now let us put the value of f one zero 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 one zero 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 then we have One 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 zero one one. One 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 zero one one. So others will be zero. So one combination will be this one. Another will be this one. The third combination will be this one, and the last one will be this one. Combination. Okay. Now let us write down the Boolean expression. So from this term, what we'll get? We'll get a bar a bar c bar d bar plus from this term we will get a b bar then c bar plus from this term we will get a bar b a bar b and from this side we will get c bar plus from this term we will get a bar b a bar b d bar d bar okay so we have got the expression for small f now finally we have the we have to find out the kmf for small z and from that we have to find out the boolean expression for small z okay for small z we have 0011 0011 then we have 1111011 One one so zero 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 zero. Okay, now we have to take the possible combinations. So this will be one combination. This will be another. So this will be the third combination. Suppose this is the fourth combination. Suppose. Okay, so we have taken all the combination. Now let us write down. So this one will be this combination will be a b bar. Okay, a b bar c bar plus it will be a bar b. A bar B C bar plus from this combination we'll get A bar B bar C plus from this combination we'll get A bar C D bar 
okay so this is the boolean expression for small c so we have found out all the boolean expression for a small a small b small c small d small e and small f and small g okay now we have to make the logic circuit so here in this case we have four the four inputs a capital a capital b capital c and capital d okay i have drawn the lines for so this first line will be this lines b c d and we have taken inverter and we have found out a bar b bar c bar d bar in these lines okay now we have obtained all the a a bar b b bar c c bar d d bar lines now let us realize the all the expressions so first of all we have a small a is a bar c plus this expression so first one is a bar c a bar and c multiply so you'll get a bar c then we have a bar bd a bar b and d so you say n get and here will get a bar b d d then we have a b bar c bar a b bar and c bar you say n get and you will get here a b bar c bar and then we have b bar c bar d b bar c bar and d okay so we have got b bar c bar so this line will be from d b bar c bar d bar b bar c bar d bar now we have to add these expressions okay now we have to add these terms to get small a okay so we have to use a or get here so we'll use a for input or get here okay so here we'll get small a and this four will be the input okay so we have obtained the output small a and for small b we have this expression now we have to make the circuit for this expression so first we have a bar b bar a bar b bar a bar b bar okay then we have a bar c bar d bar a bar c bar and d bar so use and get so you will get here a bar c bar d bar okay then we have a bar c d a bar c d okay so here will get a bar c d then we have a b bar c bar a b bar c bar a b bar c bar okay so we have got all the mean terms then we have to add this okay using f4 input or get to get the output function small b so these will be the inputs of this gets so we have got here small b now we have to draw the draw for c we have this expression okay for small c we have a bar b plus a bar d plus a b bar c bar plus b bar c bar d bar okay now let us draw it so first term is a bar b a bar b a bar b second term is a bar d a bar d okay so here we'll get a bar d then the third term is a b bar c bar we have already obtained this a b bar c bar a b bar c bar okay so draw a line from here and this will be the third input okay then the fourth term is b bar c bar d bar so again we have this fourth input b bar c bar there here we have already found out this b bar c bar d bar okay so draw a line connection from here okay so this four will be the inputs of a or get 
and you will get the output small c here so this four will be the input of this or gate so we have got this small a small b small c and then we have to find out small d for small d we have this expression a bar b bar c plus a bar c d bar plus a b bar c bar plus b bar c bar d bar plus a bar b c bar d okay so first term is a bar b bar c so first term is a bar b bar c so a bar b bar so c a bar b bar c then the second second mean term is a bar c d bar a bar c d bar a bar c d bar okay you say and get here you'll get a bar c d bar then we have a b bar c bar so we have already obtained this a b bar c bar from here okay a b bar c bar okay so draw a line connection from here and this will be the third input okay and then we have b bar c bar d bar so this is nothing but b bar c bar d bar draw a line from here okay then we have the last term a bar b c bar d a bar b c bar d okay so you say and get here we'll get a bar b c bar d okay so this four will be the this five actually here this five will be the input of a or get okay and here we'll get small d so this five will be the input of this or get okay so up to d we have completed then we have to draw the draw for e small e okay so for small e we have this expression a bar c d bar plus b bar c bar d bar a bar c d bar so a bar c d bar we have already obtained here okay draw a line from here okay and then we have b bar c bar d bar so b bar c bar d bar is this line okay you can see from here b bar c d bar this line okay so take a connection from here and you set two input or get here so here you will get the small e so because in the question we are already given that we have to use minimum number of gates so whenever it is possible we have to minimize the number of gates okay therefore we have taking the connection from the upper portion okay then f for f we have this expression a bar c bar d bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b c bar plus a bar b d bar okay so first term is a bar c bar d bar so we have already obtained here a bar c bar d bar this line okay take a connection from here okay so this will be one input then the next term is a b bar c bar we already have here a b bar c bar okay so take a line from this line the second line okay so take a line from here connection okay so we have got these two and then we have a bar b c bar a bar b c bar a bar b c bar so c bar is this line okay a bar b c bar so this will be the third input and the fourth input is a bar b d bar so a bar b d bar so here we'll get a bar b d bar okay so these are the four inputs of this or get okay so here we'll get f so these are the four inputs of this or get okay so up to small f we have completed then we are left with small z so small z expression is this one a b bar c bar plus a bar b c bar plus a bar b bar c plus a bar c d bar so first term is a b bar c bar so we have already got here a b bar c bar 
take a line from here then we have a bar b c bar a bar b c bar is this one okay so take a line from here then we have a bar b bar c a bar b bar c so a bar b bar c we have already obtained here this is a bar b bar c okay so take a line from here okay so this is a bar b bar c then we have a bar c d bar a bar c d bar is this line okay so we have already connection here so take a line from here okay so this line will be the input of the or gate so make a or gate here okay so here we'll get z small z so these are the four inputs so this is the logic circuit for bcd to seven segment decoder here we have the inputs a b c and d a bar b bar c bar and d bar line okay and from this we have found out small a then small b small c okay then we have small d small e okay and small f and small z okay so this is the circuit design okay so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you